Do you want to talk about Spotlight? Yeah, let's do it. You watched it very recently, much more than I. You watched yesterday, right? Wednesday. Wednesday. So, I'm sorry. Two days ago. Two days ago. Spotlight, guys. Uh, There's a movie called Spotlight. 2015. Michael Keaton, 2015. Kate Winslet. Uh, Michael Keaton. She's the woman. Not I Kate Winslet. Isn't she it's in the other chick? The reporter? I forget her name. No, it's uh, the chick from... And Ruffalo. Ruffalo, yes. Mark he was Ruffalo. very good. Um, the Hulk 2. Hulk 3? Three. Four. Hulk 4. Yes. And I, a really good one. Just, just he was great in the movie. It won, It did win the best Oscar in 2016. Did. I didn't know that till today. It's really interesting because Michael Keaton had a real comeback. He won Birdman. And yeah. Not that we're going to make this a fucking thing. Well, of course we're making about movies. Birdman followed by Spotlight. And then he did Founder. And honestly, I watched Founder. I think he should have won for that. But whatever. Where's my bird? <laughs> Where's my bird? You say it very well. I just wanted to hear you say it. So I... I, I, I vump. My bird. Sorry. Thank you, Mickey Rourke, for your So, first, good job, um, Iron Man voice. 7. So, uh, I knew, I mean, obviously, I, I I knew the movie came out in 2015. I knew what it was about. I knew about the Boston ring of priests, and I knew about the abuse, and I knew, I mean, I, I knew the, I, the story when it came out. Yeah. So, I didn't really, when it came out in 2015, I'm like, okay. I'll watch it when I watch it. I'm not going to watch that, because that's, Tyson was sick during that time. You know, that was... 18 months after he got his money that was right. two years after he got af- after he you know is right in the middle of all this shit so um i wasn't gonna watch it because it's just it was too hard for me yeah i get so, it so and knowing it like you're going and knowing pretty much some bad thing well you have a personal you're connected to it so it it's even harder. So it was probably a mistake to invite Jim Beam to watch it with me. Um, <laughs> James. But, uh, Mr. James Beam, uh, senor, wherever you are. Senor Jaime Please, please ship Beam. back Christopher's liver. <laughs> Him and I, he liked the movie a lot. I did not. No, sorry. Uh, it's, it was great. It was a great movie. However, um, 87 Priests. And it, I don't even remember the numbers. Of 87 Jesus. priests. I'll refresh your fucking memory. Please. So the first scene them. took place. There's one on here with 87 priests. Of course there is. There it is. You stopped right there. Oh, that was Orange, California. You see? Oh, it's 87 people. Oh, victims. yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm so, not listening. I apologize. The opening scene of the movie takes place in 1976. In the room, in the police station, there's a five-year-old boy. I was five years old in 1976. I was like, that just hits home. I was like, oh fuck, that could have been me. Oh fuck. Then I thought, can I? Can we have story time? <gasps> yes, my favorite. Can you please? Can you please ask one more time, friendly? Uh, check mark. May we have story time? Of course, we may have. Story time. Are you ready for story time, ladies, boys, and girls? Ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and germs? But um, bump. Such pretty time. So, uh, uh, a mutual friend of ours, um, a mutual fraternity brother, Rob Akins, him and I, every year we used to compare, around Christmas time, we would compare stories of the weirdest stuff our parents did throughout the year and whoever had the weirdest story won like a little like okay you get a little dumb trophy or we'd buy i'd buy dinner or whatever right so you know it went back and we only did you must have won a lot no he he, he, no no, he won he actually won a lot he's like it's a fat joke but i was just messing with you bro (laughs) you must have won a lot because no but that's so Chris, nope. you're not. I'm so uh, one that. year he's like, oh, yeah, my dad described his bowel movement in color and shape and size. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. Did I he take get- a picture? No. <laughs> if he took a picture, guess- did it Joey Diaz style? I'd be like, all right. I- respect. So he won that year. Then the next year, you know what I mean? So 
and this was like in our late 20s. So right. I remember specifically, I was 32. So this was a while ago. Right. So, because I'm an old guy. Uh, so, uh, in my day, we played God shoot a block off the tree, <laughs> and there weren't any winners. We were all losers. Can you help me change my sack? Oh, boy. So when I was 32, oh, my mother asked me when I was 32, she goes, Were you ever molested by a priest? When I was fucking 32, I was like, maybe okay. that's when she heard about it the first time. I was for the real. first fucking time. I was your, like, mom, your mom sounds like someone who didn't No, I'm serious. <sighs> Bro. I think I, I know that's crazy, but I think that seems pretty awesome. In 1991, one of my classmates took his own fucking life. Right. In oh, 91, yeah. when yeah. I was fucking 18. I get you. I'm just giving you a different uh, perspective. I'm not, okay. I'm not, yeah, okay. I'm not telling yeah, you're I wrong, know. bro. I you, know. What you feel is 100% valid. Anyway. And I love you. I man. said. You know I love I know. You. Okay, thanks, boo. We're going to make so, up. Don't worry. <laughs> so I said, no, mom. I wasn't. Okay, first of all, you're a little late to the party, Mom. <laughs> Second of all... I don't have a late to the party uh, <laughs> sound effect. Ooh. Second of all, it's Mom... it's not applause. <laughs> it's like, no. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Oh, you're, t you're asking me now? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey. It's like, no, it's the shit from the game show. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, you know... Yes, that's it. The trombone dump in yeah. uh, Price is Right. Yeah, the trombone Drew Carey dump. Sucks. Oh, did I just say that out loud? I'm sorry. So I said, second of all, mom, if I was molested by priests, I would have taken the church for every fucking penny they had, and I would own my own fucking island, mother. <laughs> then around Christmas time, uh, Rob and I reconvened for our annual Whose Parents Were More Fucked Up This Year tournament. Right. And I won, obviously. And he, said, and he goes, dude, that's it. You win we forever, quit. and that was the last time we ever did it. That sounds like a winning one. And that, I get it. I mean, the question seems just interesting at that age and time and everything. Interesting. I, bro, I don't know how else to say it. And I, that, ladies I and gentlemen, I is story time. I can't share my story the way I want to yet. Okay. And But just think about it. What happened to someone that I know, and then we went there mm -hmm. from them? <laughs> Just, I mean, could I win story time? <laughs> um, yes. I just want to be in the race, bro. Bro. I just want to be in the race. So that spotlight. was a really interesting. Yeah, so Spotlight. Let's get back to Spotlight. So, um, so it opens. It opens in 1976. Well, they uh, open the scene. In, in Boston, obviously, um, with these Irish Catholic boys being abused by a priest. And um, there was a cover-up. And the, the priest escapes with because the bishop escorts him out of the out of the the precinct and nothing ever happens to him so um it's a very, it's it's two and a half hour movie it's and once again real quick it is docudrama like let's, yes of course it's a i know it's based on a true story and i this is the analogy i all you always use this is all disclaimer stuff i'm because we're not on a witch hunt here guys i i believe that christopher and i love oh everyone unconditionally in in some way or another that's not true Okay. Speak for yourself, fucker. But you know, I I don't want to hurt anyone intentionally, so I'm not on a witch hunt. No, you know, you're right. I do I do love everyone unconditionally. Right. However, I do struggle with justice. I'm sorry. No. I'm going to steal your thunder right okay. here. And you know what? I'm not Take sorry. It. I struggle with finding the logic with people when they follow blindly. Mm -hmm. With this hand. When in this hand, the people they're following are raping the innocent. Well, are, are actually raping those people, and they're freely giving These financially people, and time. Right. Correct. Yeah. Like, I'm giving you money and time and my love and my energy towards your cause. Oh, that's not enough? Yeah, go ahead and rape my children. <laughs> that sounds logical. Yeah, go ahead. It's a great movie, and it, it really it is a really good movie. And, um, and once I'm sorry, real quick, I have to do it on the on the that disclaimer. You're gonna thing. have to put a quarter in the bucket every time you say "real quick." <sighs> Go ahead, real quick, guy. Hashtag real quick. Uh, that should be a, the fucking real quick podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the real quick tangent. Oh shit! Real quick. Go. I'm gonna let you finish. 
Um, anyway, to the world. Hello, to the world. I'm gonna let you finish. Um, uh, shit. <laughs> I lost my fucking train of thought. But basically, the disclaimer is this: things that are based on true stories. I use this analogy: Operation Dumbo Drop is a movie based on a true story. Oh yeah, huh? The truth is, village lost elephant. Village requested elephant. Village got elephant. That's the story. All that shit with Dennis Leary jumping out of a fucking airplane and oh, parachuting. I, neither have I. I don't. I just know there's some crazy shit that goes on. But that journey was probably a little embellished. Of so, I'm just, so I use that one as my most extreme case of based on a true story. Well, the beginning of Spotlight, the movie, it, the first thing it says is based on actual events. Correct. It doesn't say based on true story. Okay, it doesn't right. say, it says based on actual events. Right. And it so, is based on that, but you, there is some, a lot of hyperbole done. You can, you can base something on an actual event and still zhuzh it a little bit on the outside. Under, I've, yes, of course. You, and you I understand color that. outside the lines. I no, understand that. I'm saying that for you. I know, you know, I'm not saying to, you know, to, to be condescending to anyone else, but I'm trying to let our, hello to the world. That shit might happen. That's kind of what I'm saying. It's it, more for the people that, don't under like if they see that and just take that all at face value that's dangerous it's dangerous. absolutely but the story just on its own almost doesn't need it but so agreed it it, uh, it, 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 i'll just summarize it. It, it it's a good movie and i think you should i think it people should give it credence 87 priests i mean it started out as it started out as one then it started out then it was nine then it was 13 and then it was 87 and there's a crew, a small crew of reporters in Boston for the Globe that uncovered this in 2001. Um, that it, it went back for decades, and um, covered up by the bishop. And it's it's horrible. It's absolutely, positively wretched and horrible. There was one scene specifically for me that I didn't understand was and i'm i'll explain it but i'm curious that was the most jarring scene to me it was just, it, it it was so eye opening when i watched that part do you have a recollection of a specific scene that just either just the worst thing of that movie that you just saw no okay please enlighten me the one and the reason i the reason i'm very much about this based on actual events is i don't know how embellished that conversation was okay was it Ruffalo or, or the other, or the someone else goes to the to a guy's house, a priest's house who was retired? Oh yeah, and he answers the door, and I'm yeah. I'm gonna get really oh shit yeah, I'm just gonna get really uh, emotional about this, and oh fuck dude, they go and they ask him, and I asked you to look for something like that, and I didn't want to give it away because I, I it resonates differently oh, to each of us, fuck, dude. but. They ask him if he did these things. Like, it was just odd. They ask him if he did these things, and he's like, yes, that's that's what you do. Like, you, you, that's what we just do with the boy. That's like, it's like a, like such a right of, it wasn't, I don't know. It's like, it was like communion. <laughs> he was very nonchalant about it. Uh, yeah, like, to the point where, like, he didn't even understand why they're asking him, like, in a bad way. He was like almost so old school. But didn't he say, he said he didn't get any pleasure out of it? Yeah, like he we didn't, didn't enjoy, enjoy it. it. We didn't enjoy Something, it, but we I didn't remember yeah, the words. He specifically said, I didn't enjoy it. And he said it was, very imp it was very important. He said, it's very important that you note, I didn't enjoy it. Yes. But, and, <sighs> I, almost stopped, I almost stopped it there. I couldn't, I, that was hard. Watching that scene, that scene was the one. And if that was embellished, that's why I had to put that disclaimer because that scene to me was the most mm. now that you say that powerful yes. fucking scene. Just the way he was like, yeah, I didn't enjoy it, and yeah, that's what, and it's so fucking like passing by, like so nonchalant, like you said. Anyway, the that's um, sick. the the similarities of the movie, the parallels of the movie with with Tyson's case. Obviously, 87 priests in Boston, and, and, and I don't know how many people Father Harris actually molested, and I don't know how many people actually got payouts 
from Father Harris or the Diocese of Orange or other places that he had been. The but hundred the, seven, the hundred million dollar in Orange, I think of of Tyson's. Yeah, shows thirty priests, two nuns, eleven other with eighty seven victims. I'm just so that's on okay. the wiki page. Right. So just so I don't okay. total world. That's on the wiki page. So, so. The, but the parallels of the fact that. The, the the church, regardless of the diocese, covered up for a priest, and and uh, obviously Father Harris that I knew that I I mean I fucking hugged the guy he hugged me right, I, ugh. and th these priests in Boston the church did the same you know one was in California in the eighties and one was in Boston in the seventies and eighties right? right these things. Or like they're they're it's the like parallel. a fucking template. It's like a yeah blueprint. It's like a fucking blueprint. And it's like the, this is how you treat. This is how you run your business. And and, the, and it is a fucking business if you don't fucking think. So. And at the end of the movie, sorry, the parallels just kept. I kept being reminded of Tyson and what happened to him. You kept and, going like check, yeah, check, check, and and, check. and and Father Harris and what happened in high school and right. with with us and. And and Tyson's night terrors, and then and then the lawsuit, and then and then they kept upping the money, and then and the, the paperwork that I saw, and the lawyer, and then the, the same thing with the movie, and they find paperwork, and they find more victims, and more victims come out, and a victim says, "Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I I, I right. don't want my son to know about this case." And then he says, "Okay, I'll talk to you. Okay, but you can't use my name. Oh no, my name's Patrick. Okay, you can use my whole name." Right. So this guy, this this victim from the Boston, goes from I don't want to talk to you to yeah fuck yeah burn this fucking place down. So that and the, I think and I, to be honest, I think that no, came right. with probably therapy or something. Sure, where, yeah, like, yeah. Just like just like in Tyson's case, where that he would have taken that to his grave had he personally not sought uh, help professionally in some way I, and it might even be directly because i'm just saying in general because he was feeling the way he felt or whatever but um this this is why it's very important guys i know there are cries for help we want to help people when people have those cries we've seen it but the best way to get help is to just get it yourself and I, i'm not trying to belittle anyone who has a challenge with that oh yeah but i want Dude. i would encourage everyone to seek getting better because I mentioned it, suicidal ideation, hello, got uh, therapy, and I'm still in maintenance mode, and I will be for the rest of my life, but I, I had to find, I had to seek that to get better. I'll be so. the first person to admit that I, it took me a long time to realize that it, I had to ask for help, and it's okay to ask for help, but yes. it took me a long time to come to the realization that, to, to come to that realization. Just to be okay with yeah, to other be, people. Yeah, yeah, and now that I'm like. To be vulnerable. Now that I, now that that. Now that I did that, I'm like, fuck. Why man, didn't I, I do that 82 years ago? Yes. And we're 40. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So to come back to, to, at the end of Spotlight, after all those little check marks, boxes. Sorry. Check mark. Not check no, marks. Check, check mark boxes. He make popping. Hello. Hello, little <laughs> world. This is check mark. Yes. I will be on the Hola, beer goggles. Check mark. Hey, hello. I will be on the, the beer goggles sometime. How do you say goggles. hello in check mark? Uh, hello. Hello. It's like hollow red, but much different because uh, we anyway, don't have many of so of, uh, of around. <laughs> at the end of spotlight, it was really hard for me, and I I started crying. Jim may have had something to do with that, and I hadn't cried since Tyson's funeral, and, and it was kind. That's not ironic at all, is it? No. So was it cathartic though? How did it feel? No, it, I felt sad because, and I I had a little conversation with Tyson, and I and I said I said I was sorry. I said, I'm sorry that you went through that. I literally said, I'm sorry you went through what you went through. And that fucking sucks that he, he, I mean, he was a fucking tortured, haunted soul. And I, you know, and then to fucking, to fucking live through that and then die from cancer. Like the guy can't even fucking come through the other, like fucking Shawshank Redemption. I know we're talking about no, You can't cool. even come through the tunnel of shit right. and then live in the sunshine? No, fuck right. you. You get to die from cancer. You can't even fucking, no, fuck you. You get to fucking die. Horribly. Not even like, not even like peaceful, it like in your sleep, but fucking horrible, your body eats itself. That's some fucked up shit. So... Yeah, please. Let's get off this shit. No, no. We, we went in. Just 
just epiphany. Sure. Ding. Hello, tangent. Uh, real quick. Hashtag real quick. <laughs> hashtag real quick. Um, <laughs> that's really fun, kind of funny, actually. <laughs> hashtag real quick. <sighs> we went and going, hey, look at this organization. I believe in, like, I'm, I'm cool with everybody's faith, and now you just shattered my fucking faith. Okay. Who the fuck allows that to happen? Why Why would I believe in a higher power at that point? Right now, right well, it's now. it's not about a higher power. No, my point is, what God, and look, I'm not here to criticize faith. I'm talking to me personally how I feel about it. I am of the opinion that what God would allow an organization to exist to do that to a child, to let him live his whole life with that under, finally express it, and then right at the moment that he got done, take his fucking life. You, it cannot be summed up any better than that, sir. And it's so hard for me to have faith in this world. I'm going to get a little choked up. Fucking do it, man. I can't help it, but... How can one have faith? How can when you see that? How can how can and people try to explain it away? You can. That's okay. You can try to explain like God is not us. He doesn't have emotion, so it just is. Okay, sure. That's a great fucking answer. Thank you, <laughs> you non interventionist. Yeah. Speaking of opinions, anyway, yet yet he created everything but didn't intervene. Okay, done. Go ahead. You were no, dude. Something. You're yeah. No, no, that's, no, no. That's completely logical. I know, I'm good. Stop, please, because I. Because I am torn. I am torn. Because no, I've, you're seen, not. I've seen spiritual shit. No, you're not. Shit, you, just, you came to my side. Welcome. I've seen spiritual shit. There's no danger. Pers- Only Zool. Bro, I've had person. You know my personal experiences with whatever that is that's beyond and around. I don't know what that is. And if it's what we all call it and put the label on, fine. But I don't think that's what Twitter world thinks, to be honest. But go ahead. You were um, going to say something. Well, obviously, I was, I, you know, Catholic school. I was raised Catholic, baptized at birth. I mean, you know, two months, whatever. And I, you know, com- com- first communion. I've had all the sac, you know, all the sacraments. I've had there's seven, and I've only had whatever four communion, blah blah blah. So thirteen years Catholic school, K through twelve. So I know everything. I know the book, right? I've read the Bible twice. I know all the bullshit. I, I mean, not all the, and that's not the right word. I know all the. I know all the stuff, all the information. I don't believe in it, but I know all the information. You know what was written, I, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I went, Which I, is the I best had, way to I say had it. Catholic class. It's not like you have an understanding, you just know what was written down. I had, I, no, I had the knowledge, I had the scholastic information. Yeah. I had Catholic class every day for 13 years. Like, in high school, it was, okay, freshman year is Old Testament. Sophomore year's New Testament, where you read, you know, you mean like, so it's like every, you know, I know, okay. So they torture children in multiple ways. Oh, God, dear Jesus. Sorry. So I know I'm trying to right, be a little, right. I'm trying you're to be right, a little right. about so it. So my but. point is this. That was just an inhale. Hundreds, hundreds of times I was told by my parents, my priests in elementary school, my nuns in elementary school. I was told this phrase, quote unquote, our God is a kind and loving God. I was told that repeatedly for decades. So, I, hi, our God, I'm in this hand, I have our God is a kind and loving God. Then you have the horrible atrocities of the fucking world, the horrible atrocities of the human race, those things don't compute. Our God is a kind and loving God. Then you have over here, Father Harris, a person man of God, a man of this, of this same God, who's causing boys to kill themselves so basically in my logical mind everything that i was taught our god is a kind and loving god that's a fucking lie i was fucking lied to yeah because you because you were told that and you were shown that correct so when you say 
and you act this way, no, what do no, you, you say? Blah 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 blah, and you act. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> what do you expect me to do? Right. What do you expect me to think? And that's just one example. I mean, there's a bunch of examples where my father says one thing and does something else. I'm like, okay, well, this is <laughs> hypocrite hey, dad, you right? hypocritical fuck. Yeah. I'm 10 and I'm smarter than you. Oh, I know that. And yeah, I'm not allowed you. to say that, mm-hmm. but I know that I am. Okay, that's <laughs> example B. So there's a shitload of those. So, oh, hey, I'm. Yeah. it's called uh, Sunday morning Catholic, I think is the term. <laughs> hey, I'm going to act all Jesus. Right. <laughs> well, I've, I've seen Easter Christ- I've seen, I've seen Easter Christmas guy, uh, Christians, you know. So you uh, fucking go how out. am I supposed to reconcile? Mass-holes? Do you call them? mass holes by any chance <laughs> just that's a great Sorry. one but i, I, I want i mean i want to believe i want to believe in a higher power wouldn't it be great i want to believe yeah. that that jesus is going to forgive me I, and i've confessed my sins i've been the confession and i i, I want to believe that i'm going to die and go to heaven i want to believe those things i don't i can't there's no logic in my mind in that and everyone's entitled to believe whatever you want. As I've said before, if you want to worship Darth Vader, that's great. Flying spaghetti. If you monster. want to worship the fl- flying sp- that, fucking pasta guy, that's, that's cool. Oh, everyone's I'm entitled. Sorry. The macaroni and gravy guy <laughs> over there. If that's great, if you, everyone's entitled to to your thing. However, going back to my point, when I'm told something, when I'm told our God's a kind and loving God, that's an amazing statement. That's an amazing thing to tell an impressionable child. I go, I love that. I love that. My God, my that's my guy. He loves he's me. He's ours. He, Actually, he's not just mine. He's ours. He loves <laughs> me, and he's kind, and he's... He, and Jesus loves you. Yes, this you know. Uh, right? I, that's great. But then when yeah. my best friend is is stripped of his dignity and his and his soul and never given the chance to put it back together really what are you supposed to think he had nothing to get he didn't you know how much time that would take to even feel whole again after that being put through that experience yeah you're talking he was given you're talking a lifetime of therapy but he was given what for you said four years less than that he was given less than four well, I mean, I can do what the math. He died saying? at 45. So, yeah, saying? four. let's just say four. four. Let's, let's just, just say four. Let's be. round up to four. Big fucking deal. But it's like, how do we, how do, and it is hard, man. We juggle, we juggle our faith. I mean, I, I know this is the most challenging podcast to talk about because the vehement from anyone who's going to hear it, friends of yours, friends of mine who may hear it that are faith-based and whatnot, this isn't, we're not out, we're not out against, we want um. what people say, claim. <laughs> no, but don't we want, my point is, we want what their God, what they claim their God to be. And we just haven't seen it. So why, why are we lying to ourselves? Why, can't, you know, why? When you say, I'm sorry, why are we lying to ourselves? We meaning the human race? Or what do you, what do you mean? I mean, I mean, why does for people who look towards an organized religion for the purpose of the faith, for the faith, not for the community and the social, a lot of people do for different reasons. Oh, I'm understood. Gonna, yeah. going to say that because I'm not here to criticize the church. The churches are actually really fucking great communities. They're fu- I've seen cookouts and bake offs. Yeah, those and things are great. They're fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at their face, like, but we can have community centers without fucking naming the other thing, the almighty. You mean the abuse? Well, oh, yeah. With a side of, um, with a side of lashes and fucking smacks across the suicides. Wanna... Yeah. So, uh, um, we can have that. So all that aside, right? What was my point? I don't know, but Damn I'm it. done. I'm fucking okay. done being We're nice. done. I'm I love done. you guys. Hey, no. um, do you, is there any other articles you want to talk about? No, I'm do, not. Do I'm you, done. I'm actually, uh, this is so important on its own. Um, do the you, church did other shit. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, sure. Sure. Do you, oh, we want, you can move on is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm done being nice. I want to burn Good. everything to the ground. Oh, okay, cool. I'm, I'm so frustrated with the lack of logic and the, and the lack of, the fact that this is still going on, the fact that 
that there's still lawsuits, the fact that there's still allegations, the fact that there's still cover-ups when there, there should be, there's, I would like to refer back to a previous statement on a previous podcast where I said, don't be a dick. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what your religion is, what your gender is, what your color is. If Tyson was six, six and I'm five, six, I don't give a fuck. Don't be a dick. When, when an allegation is made, regardless if you're Muslim or Jewish or Christian or Buddhist or Hindu, it's your fucking job. If you have the authority to investigate that. And if it's fucking valid, remove the fucker that fucking did it and cut off his nuts. Okay. That's not okay. Yeah, no. Chemical what? castration could work. Maybe Ooh. who knows? So, I don't um, know. but maybe but take away his good looks. The fact that going back to the New Jersey, yeah. seventy years of abuse occurred to one thousand children. Right. That's that's unforgivable. I did the math, and like I said, it's one hundred and fifty children a year, three hundred sixty-five days a year. Yeah. Uh, 150 is 1,050. So it's round. Up. I'm just rounding. Well, I'm just rounding. So 150, um, 150, let's make it 120. Let's round down. 120 a year. That's every three days of the year. Every three days of the year, one child had something done to them. And it could have been one, this, let's just say. Right, it could be the same thing the over same and over child again. Yes, yes. Twice a week. But, but or, we're talking about separate. That's how fucking bad it is. It's. Every three days, a separate incident. How is it a child's added to the mix? I how guess, is, is it the that there's there's that. two gentlemen sitting in a room, upset about ch- children being abused by priests that aren't even practicing Catholics? But there's Catholics out there right now mm-hmm. not doing a fucking thing about that. Yeah, that's fucked up. And I'm wearing a fucking Iron Maiden shirt. That's what's what's wrong? What can, can I give you my analogy? It's really no. Easy. You you and I, <laughs> you and I. Oh, well, we're we're so reunited. Good. It does feel good. We're needy on ice. Um, this so is my two cents. Early in the year, not this year. I'm sorry. Uh, Earlier last, in some late year. last year, <laughs> late late last year, sometime. Late last year, I watched an HBO special called Leaving Neverland. Yeah, I saw it too. Had similar content. It was two episodes. It was like two episodes. They were long, though. I think I watched them one. It was four hours total. So I think I watched one and watched the other. Um, I was with my girlfriend. And uh, I was impotent. Shut up. I could not perform... No I way. couldn't perform for a couple days. No joke. I, I, I looked at her. I'm like, I am so disgusted. It just all felt dirty. Dude. Like, I know it sounds fucked up, but. It no, felt, that's, but that's. It all felt dirty. So, oh, my God, dude. Um, let me just say, since then, it's my choice. This is why, this is why I don't understand. You can get out. You have choice. You The one. You're in fucking America. The one, two things you have are speech and choice, at least, and guns. <laughs> but look, you have fucking choice. I have not listened to an adult Michael Jackson song since that since that Me documentary. Oh. Yeah, but that's because all you listen to is Brimstone and Fire. <laughs> right. So, right there, that that's choice. Absolutely. So I have heard. One of my favorite music videos of all time is one of the greatest music videos of all time. We've even talked about it. I can't watch it. The Thriller? I will not watch it. Beat it bad. All of them are fucking great. Even Scream is good in its coolness, mm. like a different way. Whatever. I cannot watch it. I, Jackson 5, I can. I can. Jackson 5. Well, he was little. He was the abusee, I'm, in my opinion. I don't know what happened. Look, I get I understand. That. I understand their cycles. There's a lot of things I haven't shared with a lot of people yet. I don't know if I have the courage to do it, but this is why I'm at least talking with others, right? Um, but he was a kid who was, in my opinion, I would guess, I would assume abuse. I'm not pointing fingers at anyone. I'm not using names. I don't know. The pattern fits. 
He's abused. He abuses. Real easy. Adult Michael Jackson has the choice. Oh, yeah. Because I know someone I think has cho- had a choice, too. And I and I know I, I think I had a choice. I think You know what I mean? I mean, I think we all had that choice. We have a choice to hurt children or not hurt children. I mean, like... Is that, yeah, like, you have like a, a ch- fucking no you have a, you have a You have a choice to say, oh, shit. I want to touch this child. I need to go get help. I need to, I need to, I need to, okay, I need to not be a priest or go see a therapist or both or whatever it takes to not do that. Yeah. Go get a wife, go get a boyfriend. I don't give a fuck, but don't touch that child. One of the very few instances where you just go, I know this is absolute, like an absolute wrong. Yeah, an absolute wrong. Like a, it's not like a speeding limit. Like speeding, right? It's not. It's like not jaywalking, at all. fuckers. Like hello, it is a choice. Knowing, non consent, non understanding. All you're using a human as an object because they don't. They're an object at that point because they don't even understand it. Guarantee it. How far? Yeah, sorry, up- and I, that's it. I just. That's good. Um, How anyway. far up do you think? So we let me let me preface the question. I I've been reading about allegations in the church, and in the past since in the past say seven years since 2013, um, that possibly the Pope, the current Pope Francis, might know about. Mm-hmm. How far up do you think this goes? Knowledge is to the top. Do you think the because we all know? Well, right. Yeah, you, do you think the Pope knew? Yes. Okay, and he <laughs> didn't do anything about it. He would say, "I delegate that responsibility to X because I have to run the world and save the world and blah blah blah." So it's like uh, what I would call plausible deniability. deniability. That's it's what I call the Joe Paterno factor. Like I hate to. Let's I do know, it. Well, I get it. I well, get hey, it. we're talking about fucking molestation. Let's go there. So, <laughs> at the beginning of this podcast, Can I even said I wanted to go. Light on? I want to go to Penn State. Uh, if, yeah, go ahead and hit the fucking light. It's the last switch on the right there, sir. Keep talking. Uh, so, right at the beginning of this, you want to go to USC. I want to go to Penn State. Big mistake. And it's huge. And the Penn State allegations, the, the allegations, shit, the facts, the facts. <sighs> The facts of what Jerry Sandusky did to his charitable school for boy, whatever the fuck that the organization was that he did. And and then it got, remember some, was it Kenneth Starr that dug into it? I forget who the fuck even went I think it was Kenneth Starr, the guy who did the old Clinton shit way back in the day. Did that, pulled that whole report. Mueller report. No, no, that's the other report. Whatever the fuck the one for Penn State. There was about all the emails is up. And there are emails, or at least one, that has Joe Paterno's name on it, where he just kind of just forwarded it. So, so he this, knew. This is what I think. This is yeah. Did he die? Yes. Okay. Very soon after, and it's really interesting about that whole story. And I could probably do it really quickly, but in this case, the email's like blah 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 blah. He's like, yeah, it's not my business, right? So when they ask him about, it, he's like, don't don't talk to me about it. So this is my personal thing that happened. Mike McCreary, I believe, was the redheads kid's name. The kid, the old yes. football player, Mike yes. McCreary. Bro, bold. Thank you. I don't, you did. I don't know. You can hypothetical that all you want, but you did. So thank you. Goes, finds this happens. I, my personal opinion goes to Paterno. I don't want to hear about that stuff. I just deal with football. Done. Plausible deniability. Done. He's a, he does, he's not, he's not a, he doesn't care about sexual abuse. He cares about his football team. So he just cares. Priests just care about their flock, right? Let's just, it's easy to bury, sweep it under the rug. It's just so easy. It's my personal opinion what happened. I'm not here to slander. I'm not here to slander, but it's easy to turn. You can't wake someone pretending to sleep. <laughs> How many times have we said that now? It's like two, three episodes in a row. Yeah. Well, it seems to be valid. Like, I'm actually getting chest pains in a weird way, but we'll, we'll get through it. But it's like, seriously, how slander it? Like, how Don't crazy? chest pains. No, I'll be all right. So... The it was recently brought to my attention that there's 
at least one group or sect within the Catholic Church that is calling for the Pope's resignation. Yep. And they actually had church militant and they actually have a, I don't know how to phrase it. They have a bunch of bishops and cardinals and other priests that they have, they're tracking the allegations on and they are, they're ones that have resigned. They are tracking them and, um, Obviously, I'm not a practicing Catholic, so I, I wasn't aware this was a thing. Right. So I, I was surprised by this that there's there's I I just assumed I was very surprised. So I I don't know how what percentage of the Catholics around the world are aware of this or are participating in, right. in this ongoing process. I don't know how long they've been asking for the post resignation. I know a, 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 there was a letter written by a Cardinal, a very long lengthy letter in 2013 and I'm sorry, 2018. And um, the Pope made no comment about it in 2013. Apparently the accusation was made that the Pope's known about the abuse allegations since 2013 in 2018 is when he was asked about it and he said no comment uh chicago tribune wrote an article he, about that he um, said no comment correct no he said that's he didn't say no comment he had said two sentences he <clears throat> said he's unwilling to discuss it blah blah blah, blah. Okay. it might as well have said no well, comment. Plead, it's more you like can plead read, the fifth. You can, <laughs> it's, more, yeah. it's way more than no comment because plead the fifth is like, yeah, if I say something, man, 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 man. No, he me. didn't. He but, said, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't. It's two sentences of I'm not willing to address that right. this situation. Da, 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 da. Right, because it, it would impl impl implicate himself. It's it like might as well have said right, no comment. Right. right. So, yeah. And yeah. I even think it's stronger than that. But yeah, exactly. And All you got to say is uh, no. That's all. You, just fucking lie. You know, you've already if you if you've already oh, if, if you've already covered up for yeah. priests that are molesting children, mm -hmm. why don't you just fucking lie too? Yeah, I mean, is is, is is priests molesting is the molestation of children worse than rape or worse than murder? Than murder, rape, hundred year rape and murder. <laughs> Thank you, it's like fucking William Wallace, motherfuckers. <laughs> William Wallace, crush your life. I'm good for Scotland. I'm good for Scotland. Eh? So, I, I wasn't aware yeah, of this. Once again, levity is just to break it up, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used sarcasm as a defense mechanism. Did you know that? <laughs> no. You? Shut the fuck You Get the fuck out sarcasm of yeah, bitch. as a defense <laughs> mechanism? No way, Ms. Chandler Bong. Dumb bitch. Uh, a therapist just... told me that one time. Do you know you use sarcasm as a defense mechanism? Mm. No shit, smart lady. It took you two fucking master's hey, degrees to figure that out. What fucking textbook did you read that directly? I never, out of? I never saw her again. That out day. of what textbook did you highlight that back in your in your frosh day? She was like not a spring in your chicken. Frosh days. She was like fifty five. Maybe she know. needed to read the text because she forgot him from. She Alzheimer's. then later that hour told me I should stop listening to heavy metal. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're funny. You're a comedian too. Fuck off. Did you kick her in the. No, I never saw her. I gave oh wait, her, I'm I, sorry. I don't condone violence. Did I, uh, you uh, tap her? Did you? Did you? Did you uh, put your hands together in a bow and say no? Thank you. No uh, gracias. So I no gracias. Yes. I gave her my twenty dollar copay and I never went again. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you nineteen bucks? Yeah, this you is are a shit it. show, you dumb whore. Oh my god. So hold on, I'm just looking. No, stop looking. Text, oh my god. Well, we might have food. Your dinner is served. We're it's oh, fine. Oh, It'll oh, be cold. Fuck food. off. I know. Cool. I'm just curious where we're at, bro. Bro. We're not even done. Bro. Bro tato chip. Teddy Brosef. So it's I think it's surprising that there's the, I I wasn't aware there's a there's a a group within the church that are asking for the pope's resignation. That was very surprising to me. I agree and Excuse real me. quick it is churchmilitant.com. Yes. com. C H U R C H M I L I T A N T dot C O M. And there's some interesting articles in there. There's some crazy things, but there's 
<laughs> you you do need That's to look judgment. if you, you do need to look around. Um, yes, you'd have you'd have to take everything worth a grain of salt. Absolutely, even the bullshit I say. So it's very it's a right wing group. You um, you're like a salt lick, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's probably me. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. You, you ain't a great. You ain't worth a grain of salt. You need entire lick. You're weird. So I can't wait till we. I can't wait till we talk about the 19 weird things. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, and tangent. So, um, I guess my question to you, Mark, is that if if you believe that if 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 you're if the answer to the question is you're you think the Pope. The current pope has been aware of the allegations, and he. Do you also think he had, did nothing about it? He obviously did not because he heard about it so, since 2012. You've confirmed or 2013. So what do you? Okay, this is a dumb line of questioning. So, real quick tangent. Real quick hashtag. Real quick. Fuck you. There's no real quicks. When the president, when the president's sworn into office. Yeah. It's my opinion that there's a UFO conversation. <laughs> like, you know, where they sit him down and they go, I'm not, I'm not saying UFOs exist or don't. That's not, we're going to talk about that shit. I'm sure at some point, but I'm not saying they do or don't exist, whatever. UFO just means unidentified. So it's identified and flying. We have, we have UFOs because I've not identified something. Yeah. Before. It's a, but, it's an airplane that you can't identify, right, but they're sworn, but they're sworn in. And then I think they do. Funk. Here's all Welcome, this shit. Present. Here's all this shit. Here's Kennedy. Here's S swallow that, and don't tell anybody about it in any press conference or anything. <laughs> and if asked directly, go. Huh, I wish that would be true. You know what I'm saying? That's what isn't that what the Pope would be? It's like that is my Here's direct all analogy. All the, what the secrets Pope would be. of the Church. Right. This we is, have you have fucked. forty-seven gazillion dollars. Right. And and it's mutual assured destruction in a weird way because it it tarnishes him for the for history. Who wants to be tarnished for history as the Pope to wit the Pope that collapsed Catholicism? He won't be seen as a... <laughs> Me. I know, but he won't... Get, oh, man, I forgot my Pope hat. Papo, Papo Parota. Dude. Um, bro. Shit. Bro, this is my I point. I forgot the hat. He won't... Well, you've got... Get the tinfoil... No, you can no. You can that shit. My dog was the Pope for Halloween last oh, year. Oh, that's right, but you could almost <laughs> papple that tinfoil hat Papal. he had from last time. Yeah, I know. Papalize. Yeah, fuck is that, that what it's called? Papalize? <sighs> Papa Jones? I guess I had this conversation with some friends... Uh, last weekend, and I okay. said, and I'll sadly repeat myself. Uh, well, you're not repeating yourself to me or so anyone else. I, I said we didn't have this. What's the right thing to do? Right. You 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 find out about something. You're in charge of all of a billion Catholics or whatever number it is. You do the right thing. You 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 make all. Possible reconcile. I can't say reconciliations. Reconciliatory. Re oh, uh, reconciliatory. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. It's like ancillary, but different. I'll get. I'll get to it because it's yeah. You make all the efforts, reciprocity. No, you make all efforts possible to the family and to the children. Reparations. No. So, um, it's okay. Let's fucking move on. <laughs> <laughs> You think that I would be drinking? So, up. <laughs> so you make all efforts possible to take care of the innocent. You find out, okay, you were the, that Father Frank. You're no longer a priest. Take him to the police station. <laughs> Click. Yeah, you're arrested. Fuck hey, off. Oh, by the way, not only not only am I. Just accusing him of this. Here are all the emails that we corresponded. Yes. And I am, I am even complicit, possibly, by yeah. sitting on it as long as I have. Yeah, you and, don't sit on shit. And, okay, maybe I'll strike a deal and give everything, but go to the police with that. Hey, I want to strike a deal. I'll give you every name, yeah. and I go free. Sure. Yeah. But but all I'm saying is, yeah, that. So uh, you do, the, the point is. That makes me sick. You're, 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 you're in charge, right? You have the ability to do the right thing, why don't you? Even if it makes the church look bad, I don't care. Because you're doing the right, you're taking care of the future. You're taking care of the innocent. Yeah. And that's what Jesus said. And I'm not even a believer. And I know that. Fucking read right. Psalms, dude. What did fucking Jesus say? You Psalms is Old Testament, isn't it? 
to, I don't know shit about. No, the Bible. I'm sorry. I'm you're right. Up. Sermon I'm on the Mount. Up. Read Sermon on the Mount. Sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. You're, right. I just, you're correct. I'm. I'm look, you're correct. If we're going to talk, if we're going to talk about, I try to be as specific. You're, I apologize you're if I'm. You're, no, you're right. Else. I misspoke. You're absolutely right. So I still love you. Take, I know, boo. So t- you take care of the innocent. That's my point. Is so this rambling idiocy right now is right. protect the innocent or whatever. Right. Just, so you 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 use every available resource that the Pope has, including monetarily, and if that means. Emptying the fucking Vatican resources, selling the art. I don't give a fuck. If you need to fucking the Sistine Chapel, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You have to fucking do the right thing. And if that means that the Cardinals don't fly on private jets, if that means they're not wearing gold fucking chains, I don't give a fuck. You're talking about six-year-old children, dude. Uh, it probably could be even younger. Okay, okay. Who knows? Regardless. Yes. But do Any, the right thing, man. It, you're abusing. Yes. And, and then covering it up these children are is almost as bad. And you're allowing it to go on for fucking how long? I've seen people go to jail for like dog abuse. I, people uh, go I'm to jail saying, for selling weed. Uh, uh, right. How stupid I know. is that shit? <laughs> right. How, how backwards. I'm just talking. I'm trying to parallel something to this, like to any effect. Yeah. Like, like you kick a dog, you go to jail, yeah, but you yeah. abuse a kid and you get, you get to move to Riverside. Fuck you. And, and, and probably pretty lavishly. I believe what was, I don't remember the guy's name in spotlight, but I think there's an expose that they did after. And I want to be, once again, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not making claims or comments. It's my understanding he like moved to some Ohio place and living in like the lap of luxury. Which, which guy? The b- the bishop? The b- bird guy? Is it the bird guy or the bishop guy? Yeah, the bishop. The bird guy was the main editor or the main newspaper reporter. Oh, was it? Okay, I, I think the bishop. Was, yeah, the arch like the the, the head that, guy. The, the I don't know. Guy. I don't know what. I what think he was like, him. right. I think he like. I think he got promoted and then he disappeared. I thought he went to Italy for a while. Well, then, he may have got promoted because I mean, the, the, the I could be wrong. The abuse started. I could be wrong in seventy six, and the article didn't come out until oh one. So it's entirely possible he became. I think it was after as it blew up, he ran. He skipped. I'm, yeah. I could be wrong, but I thought I saw some article, and I'll I'll look it we up and see if I can up. find it. But basically, he's now like. You know, no one talks about him, and he's just in this house. It's just, like, perfect for him. Just living his life. He should be fucking hung by his testicles. He should be or killed. Or drawn and quartered. He should be killed. Through through that way. He should I'm be not, killed. I am not a vicious man, but there are some fucking things that need to be protected. So where do, we, where, where do we go from here? Where do we, not you and I, but as, as, as a... As World, a human, a human as a human race, right. we have we have an a pro. To say we have a problem is a massive understatement. To to say that yeah. this issue, it, it's dis, it's dis, to say it's disgusting is not accurate. What we we have, my friends, my family, they go to church. Every, well. They used to go to church every Sunday, they but now it. they go to online church until COVID's over. But, but they, they choose give, it, bro. They, I understand that. They give money every week, and then that money goes to, to some that kids too. that got abused. That's right. true. That the point is, they're giving money, and they're 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 to an organization that does this. Wait, that yes, my. I want to say that it's corrupt, but that's not really, it is corrupt, but that's not really accurate. It's not, that's, it's, it's it, the organization, right. the church has allowed a culture to of exist. abuse yeah. to live. Yeah. I, I don't want to say flourish. I don't want to say let, they let it grow. They cultivate it, whatever, none of that shit, but they, it, 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 it they didn't many, squash it. They didn't squash at it. At many points, it seems like someone would have walked in that was of in the group and saw someone else do it similar to like the Penn state thing, right? Internally and say, bro, no, what the fuck? And then expose it at that point. But it's happening all over the world. No, but I know my point is this though. Yeah, I agree with you. Somebody should have done that. That's my point is before someone alleged that they were abused, you 
no one else saw it. Like, no no true innocent guy who really cares about this and isn't an abuser walked in on a non abuse on an abuser. I I I'd, I'd be shocked. I agree. That, how that, did that not happen? That, right. How did that not? And how did that not get exposed? And that did they person. Get, did is, they get shushed? Yeah, shushed because they do believe in the God. That, like the dogmatic principles of certain things. When you are raised it and your father's father. When you're a policeman and your father's father was a policeman and you're whatever. You can do it linearly for so many different verticals. My dad was a soldier. My grandfather fought in World War II. My great-grandfather fought and fought in World War One. My great-great-grandfather. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, when you keep when you when you have that that culture, it is culture. I understand. All we can do is expose this. We've now right. talked for over two hours in right, a very constructive not, way I, about yes. the truth of what these things, what these people are, and now it's up to you to act. That's not in a weird way because I can't make them act. You can't. Uh, no, I, no, I understand that. And I'm not trying I, I, to call no, you no, out, bro. No, no, no. I'm, it, I don't mean it that way. No, of course. I guess what I'm saying is when I drive down the street and I pass a Catholic church, I feel sick to my stomach mm -hmm. because my friend was taken from me. Mm -hmm. His soul was taken from him. At 16. And that. But yet good people keep going to these buildings yeah. and they're giving their love and their money and their energy and their time. And, and it's that's the good wrong. people that are building that. How the good why? people are the foundation on which this corruption's built. But that's that, that's the I, point. That's what I'm struggling with is right. that I I Because they're good people. Good but people. But it's wrong. My mother is so devout, dude. I know, but but good people who have that faith to that point, yeah. May I may I share a quick, quick yeah? Story? Fucking help me. Uh, I no. can't. I can't say who it is. <laughs> I can't say who it is, but without using names, and if I if I was ever whatever, what's that subpoena? Deposed, deposed subpoena, whatever. Suppose I, I would I would say it, but I remember the daughter of someone that I know. Talking about her father and saying something like, "Oh yeah," and I be and he also, her, her brother's gay. Okay, also okay. So, Catholic father, daughter, gay son. Okay. Okay. So, I hear her say, "Yeah, he goes to church and he goes to die, you know, diocese, whatever." Blah. He does all that, but he only he doesn't believe all that stuff in the Bible because obviously he has a homosexual son. And oh. he accepts his son like that, so he only picks and chooses what he wants. Mm -hmm. And and my 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 initial knee jerk reaction is, then it's not the Catholic Church because the Catholic Church does shit that you don't agree with. So you have your own religion. So why are you in that church? Unless you agree with every tenet, every single letter typed in the Bible and your whatever. Unless you believe it the way it's written, whatever. Literally. One, what, no, 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 no. The way your personal organization interprets okay, it. Okay, yes, yes. Some okay. do it literally, okay, right? I understand. Some are holding snakes and some are doing whatever. Unless you can be 100% all, all in, you should be out. And that's not how people live because this person of whom I'm speaking is able to parse out his Catholic belief mm -hmm. to which he has 60 plus years of devout giving right. of resources, money, you know, whatever. Is his, himself, son, is his, his son sexually active? I don't. He's an adult. He's over, I believe he's 18 or older, regardless of any. Well, but, the, but yeah. The, the, the Catholics believe that being gay is, is okay. Not, is right. not it's a okay sin. just not acting gay, it's right? The, the Mormon the, fucking concept. It's the gay. Yeah, it's, it's the, the doing gay. It's Gay sexual acts right. are, is the sin. Right. Being gay is okay. Doing gay is not. It's Correct. Fucking that's ridiculous. That is the dumb, dumbest thing. But well, that's what they believe. And, that's, oh, I mean, and not to stop that. Hold on real quick, though. Did you see the Mormon fucking videos about that? No. Okay. Of course not. Real quick. Can HBO, I watch Mormon videos? No. This is what I recommend also, guys. <laughs> hey, real quick. <laughs> no, no, it's I'm going to do a real quick it's fucking tick marks. <laughs> 19. No, 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 19. I didn't see Nin you. No, no, 19. 
And then 19, 19 check marks. The average age of the person killed in Vietnam was? 19. How many? No, 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 19. How many peanuts can I fit in my mouth? 19. No, no, 19. <laughs> How many M&Ms? No, no, 19. Oh, wait, but not peanut M&Ms. No, sir. That's 16. No, no. No, no, I, no, no 16. <laughs> no, 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 16. Because they're coated. <laughs> Because they have nuts. Cause the pe- no, because the peanuts are coated. I said, how many peanuts can I fit in my mouth is 19? But M&M's only 16 because they're Because you like salty nuts in your mouth? No, the thin candy crust that keeps them co- that keeps them protected adds volume to my mouth. Volumes. So Sorry, you were going to say about less. Mormons? Okay, so I would highly recommend anyone watch this as well. It's called Believer. It's an HBO documentary. It's with the guy from Imagine Dragons. Okay. Because he's a Mormon or was a Mormon or whatever. Okay. Long. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. But basically, Mormonism had a campaign that was like, I'm Chet, and I like men, but here's my wife and my child. I don't let that interfere. I'm not allowed to be it, but I am it, so it's okay. No joke. I will watch Believer on HBO. I will give you, I'll get it for you. No way. Yeah, watch it. It, Because it talks about the Mormons and homosexuality and how the clash was. It's a totally separate subject. You know what? We'll... You know what? No. Watch it. Let's talk about it next time. No fucking Can we way. talk about it? Let's wait, go wait, 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 wait. Was it how does, a, how does a gay man get an erection to impregnate his wife? I think the physical is pretty easy. You just pretend You pretend it's... Um, he closes his eyes. And well, you pretend it's... Who's the hottest? You pretend it's fucking Brad, Brad Pitt? Pitt? I mean, look. During sex, have you ever fantasized it's another woman? I know no, it's still never. a woman. Have you ever fantasized it's yourself? Oh, yeah. I'm so hot, dude. Oh, my God. I love sticking it in me. <laughs> <laughs> is so fucking, I was all over was myself so wrong. like that, a cheap suit. You know what's funny? I'm the best I ever had, dude. Two hours, fifteen minutes on the nose, something like that, and I just destroyed all the things that we just built up no, in this podcast didn't. with that one comment. I know. I'm we're no, just we. Around. I'm but sorry. No. I like to refer back to your levity comment. So yeah, because it is. <laughs> I know it is. It this is, is so not. Levity. This is a very heavy subject. It's a heavy and, subject. and I, <sighs> we got all we got all worked up, and we're good. Um, but. Watch Believer on HBO because it, it, it's literally unbelievable. I'm not kidding. It's literally unbelievable. Because it talks about suicide rate among young men. The suicide Mormon rate like, men? It's like four to one. Mormon men. Yeah. In the age range that it... in. What do you mean four to one? Four times as many Mormons in the age range. They, oh, they account oh. for like four or five okay. of that age okay. range. Now day. I understand. Some fucking weird... It's some fucking ridiculous thing, right? But the statistics are nuts. And what's crazy is there was a guy who's like a six gen, like Grand Poobah type Mormon guy mm-hmm. who's like a psychologist. And he, all he simply did was correlate the two, not saying they're causational, but go, this is really bad that there's a spike in this age when everybody's doing this and people not feeling comfortable with their sexuality and mm-hmm. obviously in the Mormon thing and all that stuff. And he, he just pointed out to the church and they just excommunicated him. Of course they did. They're like, oh, well, now you don't exist. And, oh, your generations of all, everything that you built, yeah, gone. Yet, how many Mormons, I'm friends with how many Mormons, man? How many? Good yeah. fuck, good. Good people. Good fucking people. Yeah. I mean, not all, just we have variants across well, the and board. Well, of course. I'm, not all of us are good. But well, yeah, good no, that's fucking not, people right. in a really fucking crazy organization. But the, And the Boy Scouts have had... There's been issues in every in every sect in every denomination, excuse me, of Christianity. God. Did I say denomination? What sure. Dena- yeah. Den- yeah. What's denomination. The, what's the right word? Uh, sure. Denomination is money. What's <laughs> no? Den- I think denomination is, is it, correct. So I like think it is. The, the Lutherans have had. It's one. not the demonetization. No, it's not. About that's money. what we're going to get on YouTube once we try to ask for <laughs> yeah, money. Sure. Oh, by the way, we're going hello Twitter world. <laughs> We would like to have jobs just like this talking about shit all day. So um, if you're interested, please go to info at knocked and say, hello, uh, Christopher and Mark. <laughs> we want to give you money. How do we do that? And then maybe I'll try to find a, an account of some sort. So this is like one of these. It's not telling well, you that we're worthy of. Well, I'm begging. Oh, it's not okay. like us. It's not like us telling you that we're worth this. We're begging. So anyway, God, Twitter world. What was I saying? Uh, demon, de- denomination. So every 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 Christian sect denomination. Yeah, denomination yes, has had is, is abuse scandals. 
I mean, b- uh, Baptist, every organization probably has right. Had so it's not colleges but, have had it. Already. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, hello. So, so it's yeah. not it's not just a Catholic thing. Oh yeah, but, we're not. Uh, however, the the Catholic organization is huge. obviously the biggest culprit, and I, I, I would think that it's because that priests have to take the vow of celibacy. It's and then its he, own country. People. Well, that's true too. Well, I'm sorry. That's it's, a problem. It's own. Hold, it's its own country. That's how big it is. We're talking about this because of it, specifically the Catholic. We haven't even gotten into the other religions that account for the rest that are still in the one point some billion. This is like two point six billion or two point two. Some Catholic still the or Christian Christianity is the biggest. Catholics are the biggest sect of that. They're their own fucking country people, which is dumb. But they're their own country. They have their own police force, and they're tax-free yes. in this. But, but my point is, that's how big they are. That's the scope that we're dealing with. That's wrong. That's a country wrong. abuses people. Um, <laughs> how many times have we gone into countries? How many countries have we gone into as the United States? Many. Saying, oh, people are being mistreated. Maybe we should go and help. Maybe we should do that. Like Grenada? Yeah, like all of them. Like, bro. yeah, okay. So, I, I, guess, I guess the big... <laughs> I guess the big question is, well, the first big question is, we both agree the Pope knew. So the second big question is, and we are alleging that he knew. Well, I, we have. We, doesn't it make sense? It's our that opinion. He did? Didn't it's, it, it, it's our opinion. Didn't that he doesn't did. it make sense yes. that he did? It one hundred percent makes sense, and that's why we and, believe and it. Did the we last Pope no? Benedict uh, ben, the sixteenth. Ab- absolutely. Ben Affleck the sixteenth. And did John Paul the second no? In the 80s. I absolutely Probably, right? And did every pope before him probably know? And, and you know, and, and John Paul II always came across as this kind and loving, gentle guy. And my parents had a picture of him on the wall and like, oh, our holy father. John Paul II was a poster child of the of the 20th century. Yeah. Probably. probably. Absolutely. I mean, if one, of one of them, for sure. How many years did he serve? 50, 40? No, I don't know. A lot. 25? It a lot. But it was 70s? 70s and 90s? Wait, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I would he say big, 80s and 90s. But it was during a very tumultuous time. Cold War. I mean, we're kind yeah. of, it's pretty bad. Yeah. It's, he, a pretty, yeah. it's a pretty bad yeah. time. Um, or a pretty impactful time. Let's so, put it that way. Uh, my, my, big, my big question is, why these, these scandals have been going on for decades and almost nonstop. Like, it's almost like, oh, hey, there's another one. Right. Or, hey, Philly, Jersey. California, Mm -hmm. Boston was huge in 01. And they just, Washington State. And then they're just boom, 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 boom. They're just everywhere around the globe. And they're just $100 million. Boom, boom, boom. They're just everywhere. Right. And they're on the news. And And they're not, and it's not just the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, you did mention global. There are global. They are all across the world. They are not just in the United States. Obviously, we live here, so we're talking more about this, but specifically, it is everywhere. And real quick, uh, finish your point, and I have a point after that. That's why why I want to make sure it's global, because I I hadn't a thought. An article I read today said uh, a priest came forward and he was told by the bishop, if you don't shut up, I'm going to send you to Poland. (laughs) So he shut up. This was in the nineties. So my, my there's the, like a letter, like an an email, or no, it was a conversation they had. And once this, and once the priest finally came forward, that's oh what he God. said. So the big question is, in my mind, this is not the big question. This is my big question. Right. Sorry for the no. phrasing. My big question is, these scandals have been going on for for decades and decades and decades. Right. The allegations for decades. The monetary distribution. On a massive, sc- um, billions of dollars. One point three, right there. We billions of dollars. My that. dear friend alone got two million dollars. One dude. One fucking dude. Why? Why haven't Catholics been leaving in droves? Yeah. Why? Because their daddy did it, and their daddy's daddy did it. I'm telling. T- I- because so a lot of people go to church and just choose one because they want the community, the social aspect of it. And they don't know. People, in my opinion, in general, don't want to be distracted with the heavy shit. They don't want to have to make decisions like this. So is it easier to ignore that this happened or is it easier to address that it happened? I know it's easier to ignore. I when disagree. I, see dishes, I, I don't di- I don't do. I agree with you one hundred percent with your mindset. But it, when dishes pile up in my in my sink, yeah, 
And I look at them every time, and there's no up. Oh, there's another dish, and I still don't do it. Yeah, because I don't fucking want to do it. Because I want it's a it, it's a bad part of the my life that I don't want to deal with. So I'll just ignore that, but live the rest of my life. I would. That's a kind of a loose analogy. Is that like an ostrich head in the sand deal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's like my loose analogy is like, yeah, these dishes are piling up, but that's first of all, it's a portion of it, so you, you justify going, well, it's three. Priest. Oh, now it's four. It's a hundred, but there's a million of them. Oh, now it's ten or whatever, right? So you can keep justifying. It's, all, it's never going to be all of them, and you would it guess a percentage, and you would assume it's never going to be yours. Because why would you? Because if you did now, you're directly culpable, right? Someone that I know who was abused took their children to the abuser. So what happened? I'm just, I mean, I so know that's I, a fact. I I, I I disagree with you. About letting Com- it go completely, right? Because if I'm if I'm a practicing Catholic, right? Let's say I but live. You're not, and let, you're not right. you, and no one's let's you. Let's say I'm I'm Chris Peralta, and I'm I'm a practicing Catholic. I live in Portland, Oregon. On Saturday morning, I'm watching Channel Four News, bleh, whatever fucking channel. Right. Oh, hey, a priest in Miami, Florida, was arrested for uh, uh, sex abuse of one child. In 2014, mm-hmm. then they show him in his collar and his black outfit in his uniform, yeah. being um, t- in handcuffs behind his back. The police are escorting him um, from his rectory, which is where the police, where the c- priest lives, called the rectory. Were, yes, I know. Which well, is most some people don't know, a, and such a weird, just a. Weird so name I'm in Oregon, so my pathetic. fictional place, and in Miami, um, this priest got arrested in 2020 for molestation in 2014. When I go to church in Oregon the next day on Sunday morning, I see the priest up there on the altar wearing the same fucking collar that this mm. jackass in fucking Florida right. is wearing. And I should, I should say, Oh, you know what? America, he's innocent until he's proven guilty. I should say that. Right. But in my logical mind, I go, wait a minute. That dude in Florida just got arrested. What about the one who convicted? I mean, well, like, just uh, yeah, anybody yeah, who a, a, 24 hours ago, right. this guy just got arrested. B, mm-hmm. there's been thousands of cases, thousands, tens of thousands. Yeah. I don't even know, right? A lot. So in, in my mind, I'm in church. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned, you know, in the name of the Father or whatever the fuck. I'm in church Sunday morning in Portland, Oregon, and I see this guy. I want to run screaming from the building. Yeah. Why am I the only one? It's my opinion that humans look at life very different than you and I. It's also my opinion why I think you and I are not human 100%. <laughs> but here it I is. I think we got to watch V, dude. Real simple. Reptilians Real simple. and shit. Real simple. Woman in Florida get. Uh, molests a twelve-year-old in as a teacher, right? Mil- t- molest twelve-year-old teacher. How, well, wait, how old's the woman? She's 30? an adult. She's, She's a 30. teacher. Okay, right? She she has sex with a twelve-year-old boy. Yeah, and gets actually one got pregnant with one. I, there's a lot of cases, but there are multiple times where female teacher. Obviously, it's happened with men too. Stop. I'm sure men have done it way more to girls in schools than the other way around. This is a specific case because I'm going to tell you this. I'm watching the news and I see a woman, a female teacher, a molested child. Am I not going to any schools? Am I not taking my kid to my school anymore? That's a good point. And I know, I know that's a stupid analogy, but really, you're like, hey, that's one bad, bad apple, right? One bad apple. It doesn't ruin the bunch. I'm not not taking my kid to school because I'm sorry, bro. I don't like you no more. No, but but this is why you're right. Had, you're right. But you're this is right. why we had these conversations. Look, you're right. Without you. I, I'm going to Jerry Maguire this, bro. You complete me. <laughs> you complete So I'm Renee me. Zellweger? Well, oh, I ain't... Yeah. Fu- I'm telling you one thing. I ain't fucking Renee Zellweger because she's a crazy fucking bitch. I know. Bitch. That's why I've I already said talked it. about that I, shit. I know. That's why I said it because I know you think um, she's crazy. Please, uh, this is all in fun. Hello, Twitter world. Hello, Twitter if world. If you think please. Renee Zellweger is crazy, please leave a comment for Checkmark. <laughs> Jack Mark say Renee Zellweger. We see her risky business. No coming out or is this the one? No, not risky business. Something was cradle, rocking cradle. We yeah, just saw. That's not Renee Zellweger. Oh, it's not. No. Fuck. What's the one she was fucking crazy in? Oh, we see Nurse Betty. Nurse Betty, no funny. 
No, no, I her because she's not funny. She has wreck crazy eyes. Um, Twitter world. But, uh, we're, okay, so I hate to really shit on, uh, you're right. on your you're, point. You're right. That's a good I analogy. understand your point, but once again, the but second... But also, going to church is a choice. Going to school is not. It's a choice. You can homeschool. You're allowed to homeschool. I'm t- uh, you're right. You, I, you, yes. I'm not. I understand. There, it's a loose analogy, man. Give me... No, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. M- my point I, is... I will, I will... I will um, succumb to this argument. Well, my second point I, is... What do you say? I'm not going to die on this hill, bro. <laughs> hey, really quick. I'm not going to die on this hill. Hashtag. You forgot to hashtag really quick. Hashtag really quick. Really quick. He knows that carbon and everything, bro. Hold on. <sighs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you are. No, I, I, I'm a sorry sack, bro. Whoa. Okay. I'm just a sad Go ahead. sack. No. But let's close. We're going to close this up very shortly here. But just the same thing. I'm not taking my kid to school. I chose to not watch Michael Jackson anything or listen to Michael Jackson anything when I found out the atrocity. That's me. You wouldn't ever see if you saw someone who represents what the whole thing represents do that. I don't trust that place. That's you too. That's you. Other people aren't like that. I'm a very black and white person. I'm very cut and dry. Rip the yeah. bandit off. Unless you're, until you're not. Sometimes you're personal. <sighs> yes. Bro, we're all biased. Right, bro. of course. But my point is, you generally see this and go, what the fuck? So you recognize it and you get the fuck out. Well, you know, most people don't. My latest analogy is, is I'm, I'm a deep ender. I jump into the deep end of the pool. Yeah. Like, love it. You know, I jumped into an empty pool once. Not don't, so good. don't do that. Her drink. Who showers this time? <laughs> like you know, it was with the blow. It was a like waiting pool. pool. <laughs> it was a pool of my own blood. I mean, do you have anything else that that you think that we've missed that you feel we need to address? No. I mean, just, is there any other articles yeah. that feel? I, I mean, I don't want to. I mean, do it real quick. We're never going to talk about this again, okay. and I, I, I don't, I don't want to do. I know that we're running. I'll post. I'll post this website, but I'm just going to say this. Three. This is this is the article. Three examples of 20th century Catholic church atrocities. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Catholic extermination camps. There were others outside of Germany and Poland and everywhere. Uh, Notorious was Jesenovic, headed by Franciscan friar. Orthodox Christian Serbians. Uh, It was bad. It was bad. So the second one was Catholic terror in Vietnam. Um, I'm just going to read the headlines because I don't want to get yeah, too deep. Yeah. And then Rwanda massacres. Yeah. So those sound like fun. Those are real light reading. So grab a book, a little uh, chamomile tea, perhaps, a little Earl Grey, and just it? be fucking happy. Um, this is the Catholic Church specifically indicted in, er, uh, implicated in all of this, to be clear. We haven't bashed anyone else yet. Well, a little, little Mormon here. But to all of our friends, we hope you listen to this not as us attacking you for believing what you believe. Is is that a good way to say Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Qu- question though, like, don't you know? What I mean? Yeah, we ask that you question. And why do you believe what you believe? Why why do you do what you do? Is are we full of shit? I mean, yeah. or is there some logic in what we're saying? Why that, why does the church cover things up? Are you going to justify the molestation as the church doing the greater good? Um, yeah, News that's fla- a great question. Newsflash. We could probably do a Mother Teresa one that will not paint her in the best light. Oh, dear. <laughs> but I'm not kidding. I, I, I've i read factual things, actual, like, documentary things that we're not skewed about. Um, as a whole, just treating treating the illness of hunger and not curing it. It's easy to just hand out bowls of gruel. Like, and I'm not, yeah. once again, I'm not here to imp, imp, implicate the saint. Is she saint already? I, I don't know. Did she have I don't think she was Catholic, or, though. Did she? No, she was, she was Indian at first. Well, yeah, the, you <laughs> can't just, be a saint if you're not Catholic. Oh, I thought, she, I know, but something happened. They were going to propel her right to sainthood or something. I think she converted, I would guess. No? I don't know. She was a mother. Doesn't mean you're Catholic. Madre. Or padre. Anyway, regardless, I'm not here to just attack. And I don't think she was a bad person. Like, I'm not saying no. anything negative per se about her. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I guess well, dig, I, dig deeper. Ask questions. Right. I guess the point is, if you disagree with my logic, that's great. Did the church cover things up? Yes or no? If, if you say no, why do you say no? 
Why are there so many allegations? Are they lies? Why are there so many payouts? Yeah, why it, are they it, so it, interested in settling? Right. It, yes. If if because we always accuse companies of shady practices when they settle out of court. Why is an organization that's poster child is Jesus, who's about love and kindness and mm. turn the other turn the other cheek? But yet they're that organization is hiding homosexual pedophiles. Catholics, do you ever think just I'm gonna just go with me because I'm going off really weird. What a shocker. You look at that cross with Christ on it or the cross when you walk in. Do you ever think that they're putting you on it? <laughs> does that feel like does it feel like that? I'm just curious. Have you heard of the Catholic guilt? The hello? Right, I know. I'm just saying like every every day they're abusing you. And um, real quick, 10, 10% tithing, if that's what you give, whatever you give to the church. What if you bought gift cards and gave out gift cards to people till the 10% was up and you mean directly like, helped somebody? You mean like directly to the poor? Somebody. You yeah. mean yeah. Yeah. Like directly to the guy on the corner yeah. and you gave him a that would justify, circle K gift card? Yeah, that would justify the atrocities. Because then you go, hey, does what the church does better than what the bad things that happen inside That's of it? That's a great idea, man. But you're direct, you would directly impact. You would directly impact the lives of your, not even your direct community. Like, who knows where your money goes? Your money's gone to other people to pay off lawsuit well, settlements. Their, well, the county, yeah, their money's, not you're sitting, not their your money's going to feed the priest and to pay the power bill at the church and, pay and then to pay the, the settlements. fucking $1.3 billion. How how much hunger and homeless whatever could be settled with one point three billion dollars? I mean that's a big that's a big number. How much does a house cost to build? Fifty thousand. Let's say let's say a mil, let's say a million dollars. Make it easy. It's a million dollars per house to build. You build thirteen hundred of them. Thirteen hundred million dollar houses. It's a pretty big number. I'm just guys, I get it. I'm not criticizing your faith. Or your beliefs, I'm not, I'm not, well, I'm criticizing the belief system because it's organized by man, but I'm not asking you to shit on your own people. Why don't you get your own people together that are good and do direct good? Take your fucking 10%, give it directly to somebody, start something yourself. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's easy or whatever. I, I dig it. I'm just asking you to do that. I'm just asking you. To, I'm asking you to ask yourself that is what I'm at, is really what I want. I I like it. Can we end on that? Yes. Much love. Also, sir. Once again, to, to the people that um, to whom we offended, because it is not we we joke to joke. We but we're very serious about this particular subject. But we're not here to hurt anyone. If someone's affected negatively by what we say because of your previous brainwashing or talking about i'm sorry i'll apologize for that but i won't apologize for what i said understood i i know um, that's where you come from love you very much we I'm will tight. talk about other stuff um once again spotlight let please watch that it's, it is a powerful movie on its own just in general it is disturbing be warned yeah and it, the hbo documentary believer is actually documentary documentary not based on actual facts it's an actual documentary of this cool thing that this guy did it's on hbo um with the uh the imagine dragons guy and the neon trees guy so i'm going to shut it down as we go please feel free to email us info at notconscious.com go to notconscious.com youtube knocked conscious facebook at knocked conscious twitter at knocked con Instagram at not conscious, all that shit. Chris, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me again. Um, thank you for sharing this story. I know how hard this was just to even talk about it. Tyson, we love you. Tyson's wife, we love you. Tyson's children, we love you as well. I'm going to give you a big hug after this. We're, we'll probably do it as we close it out, bro. You stay right there. <laughs> I'm going to give you a big hug as we close it out. All right, bro? Love you, man. And I love you too, bro.
Okay.